Hey guys, all right, so next on the agenda is I need to start building out this drawer. So I want to build it out so that I, I have my kitchen set up here and, uh, uh, you know, whatever I could fit. So I'm going to start putting in things and see what I could fit here and whatever I can't fit, I'll have to build somewhere else within the car. So um, this is all part of that that bench bed combo the couples bed that I built and if you haven't seen that video you could click up here to see part one and two of uh, this bed build but today we're gonna focus on this pull-out tray okay so I'm gonna need to have a handle for this so it's easier to pull in and out but I don't want it to be a handle that gets caught on things so the best thing for that type of handle is rope. all right to thread it in if your holes you know just really tight uh, what you want to do is just kind of like a shoelace you want to have something that'll push it a little bit tighter just wrap it tight so that it's a little bit smaller than the rest of the rope there you got it through Actually, I should have went through the back. Okay, so now I could cut the rope. Okay, so on this side, what I want to do is I want to tie a knot. And that knot well, is very, very strong. It's going to hold this drawer no problem. See that? And two sides. Measure how much I want this to dangle. And then have another knot right here. Okay, trim it down. Now I got a very strong. handle. So just on this side what I'm going to do is just do so that the, the rope doesn't fray. I'm just going to melt it in. All right that's good. And that's not going to get caught on anything. Okay so what I have here Coleman grills, and I'll leave a link in the description for these for you. But, uh, one thing that I wanted to make sure with these grills is that I had a, a flat piece right here. So if I want to build a facade right here, it'll slide in smoothly. Some of them, there's an angle or there's a curve, but this one's a straight down one. Okay, so that's my idea to have two burners and now I'm going to build a wall around them to hold them nice and firm. Should be plenty of room to um, turn the knobs and put some cooking supplies right here. All right, remember the slats from this bed that I cannibalized? Well, I'm gonna keep using that bed. And I'm gonna use the slats to build the dividers around these. All right, that's the first one. Now I'm gonna build a double burner, one over there. All right, so we got two in. Going nice and smoothly, two partitions. So now I'm gonna build a wall so that this doesn't slide forward when I don't want it to. All right, got that wall up. Fits in real nice. Now I need to do one for the other side too. If I measured everything right, things should fit right in. Okay, looks good. Now we need to continue to build out the rest of the, the pull-out drawer. All right, small hiccup on the design of this. You see that? It starts getting caught right there and it doesn't want to go down. And I wanted to make this as low as possible to give as much headroom as possible to the sofa and the, and the two, 
two people camping just because you know it's you need a lot of room so um, let me show you what I did to fix that okay so first of all this top doesn't come off but uh, I was able to make it come off by just twisting this little thing here so no big deal with that but uh, now that it comes off I want to be able to turn it upside down and get it in there but you can see it's still caught um, and the reason is when you turn it upside down it doesn't this thing doesn't slide down completely so what I'm going to need to do is I'm going to need to bend these a little bit to make it fit that contour and it should be fine all right so you can see it just catches just a little bit and, and I, I know there are there are uh, butane stoves that flip over and that cover goes on nice and flush but I just don't want to return these I just want to use them uh, and you know I like them they're new they're shiny they look good so anyways I'm just gonna bend those these a little bit all right so with just a little bit of a bending I'm able to put that in let's see how well it goes in now no problem all right next up I want to make some space for my pots and pans some dishes bowls so I'm gonna build some partitions that are custom fit for these things all right, so I got the partition for the pots and pans and then the dishes and the bowls. And what I wanna do is I wanna have another partition right here and right here. And that'll be for my spices and you know spoons and things like that. Um, so I don't wanna put it right here because this is where I'm gonna turn the knob. So I want it to be divided so it'd be right there. Over here, I want another partition right here so that I could put you know, bigger things, uh, you know, bigger, uh, tongs or something like that that'll fit right here and maybe s something that will fit up there but anyways uh, we'll see how that goes Alright, that's my pull-out kitchen unit. Um, next up, uh, I'll give you guys a full tour of all the bed, the bed and the pull-out and how it works and stuff like that. But for now, it's Miller time.